Well, good morning, guys. You're riding with spikes and spikes only. I've managed to bag a day off work today. It's been chaos at work, and uh, I've been working most weekends. And my lovely boss has managed to give me a, a day off. So I'm out on my own. Mr. Flea is at work, Chew is at work. The missus is at work, everyone's at work, but I'm off. So I thought I'm going to make a day of it. I'm going to go on a little tour and start bonding with the, uh, the little CRF. So I've plotted myself a little route on Calimoto, using the Calimoto app. And I've got quite a big mileage day today, just over 400 miles. The CRF's only done about 170 miles at the minute from new, so this should take it to its first service. And I'll get to know the bike a little bit better as well, see how the seat holds up, and what it's like on motorways and whatnot. Never done like a, a day out on my own on the bike, so this is the first time for me. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, so I'm heading up to the Lake District go around uh, Lake Windermere, head on to Rhinos Pass, then on to Hard Knock Pass, which I've always wanted to do, Hard Knock Pass. So that's what I'm doing. So I've got a few supplies with me as well, I've got pot noodle, I've got a nice cup of beef tea. Beef tea is a uh, bovril, if you didn't know what beef tea was. Love it. Nice bit of pepper in it. Soon warms you up. Non nodders. Right, so I'm heading up to the, the Lake District. It's going to take a few hours to get up there, so I'm not going to film all the drony motorway. So stay tuned guys and we'll see you probably around Lake Windermere or something like that. Just uh, head into the lakes. If I see some nice scenery before that then I'll switch the camera on. Yeah. Lake District, here we come. Woohoo! So guys, you join me a couple of hours later. I've just passed through a town called Skipton. And it's starting to get a bit pretty now. So I've had a couple of hours on the bike. A lot of it was motorway. And the bike's brilliant. Sits at 70, no problem. Goes a little bit more if you need to to overtake. But the only problems I found really is the seat's really hard. It's re I've got a bit of a numb arse. And as the fuel's getting low, you get quite a lot of vibration through the underbars. You know you're getting somewhere decent when you can smell shit. Poor shit. So I think probably another hour and we'll, we should be up, up at the lakes. Well, I didn't see him behind me until he put his sirens on. Should we follow him? Two nice Ducatis up front. Not sure what ones they are. And we're all stuck behind this bloody tractor. Otherwise I'd race him.
better than that to come, I'm sure. It's not bad, not bad. Well, Kalimoto's brought me down some uh, strange lane. Nice though. I was on the main road, I think it's uh, it's going to take me back onto the main road. It does that sometimes. That gives my arse a rest anyway. Yeah, it's taking me back to the road I was on. I think it knew my arse needed a rest so I could stand up. But yeah, A65. It's Kendall. Look at that. Beautiful. Welcome to Cumbria, the Lake District. That's it, so in the Lake District area. Now we're heading towards Lake Windermere. We'll find somewhere to stop in a minute and just have a quick bite to eat. And a bit of a brew. Yeah, lovely day though. Filming this at the end of September. Look at this weather, it's gorgeous. Must be a sharp one. Oh, lovely. to spoil your fun in there. Turn left here, are we? Narrow lane. Nice cottage. Got a bit of green laneage. Oh, I didn't expect this. Follow this for 1.8 miles. Awesome. My own little uh, byway. Look at that. to meet someone coming the other way. Squirrel. a little, lifted a little. Not a lot, but a little. So we're climbing. 
morning. Sutton, I've said I've just got these roads for like three miles. saying that a lot guys but amazing so I've never been to the lakes but always wanted to I'm so glad I've made the effort on my day off my one and only day off for a while as well but could have just stayed in bed just look at that Absolutely beautiful. Oh, that would be a good place to pull up. Perhaps I might do that. Spin it around here. Woohoo, nearly down, nearly down. little spot <sighs> right let's regroup right guys so I've just stopped here for a bit of lunch Absolutely gorgeous. Blistering day. Look, get some lunch and uh, crack on. So just while I've stopped for a break, I'll show you what I've done to the bike so far. Starting at the front, got the headlight guard. Now oh, that's pretty mean. You'll notice the sticker kit. It's the Dakar Rally sort of replica sticker kit. Put the RFX rear brake on, the brake lever, the rim stickers as well. On the racing, uh, we've got SW Motec rear rack, tail tidy. Nearly forgot that. An auto kickers bag. It was only a cheap thing off Amazon, but fits perfect. What else we got? Monster Energy pad. And I've used my old Ram mount. I've also fitted a uh, 12 volt socket, USB. It's got two USBs. Oh, I'm treating myself to a new helmet as well. Matches the bike. Looks good, doesn't she? Alright, back on the road. Oh, I've got a sweat on, I've to open my visor. Woo! Bit of fresh air. These roads are amazing. site that is not 
for the uh, Chelsea tractor in front of me there. So I think that's Lake Windermere. I'm pretty sure it is. So we're going to be riding up the east side of that. And then at the top it's Rhinos Pass. And then Hard Knock Pass. And then back down towards Coniston Lake River. And then head back home. It's a full on day. Should be home for about 7 o'clock. Maybe 8 o'clock. Depends how much I stop. 18% down hill. So it's a Lake Windermere. It's now on our left. Lush. So we're climbing again. if I keep stopping but look at that Lake Windermere beautiful Wow what virus God, I can't believe how many people there are so I presume this is Windermere So that went as uh, nice as I thought it was going to be. It's very touristy. Yeah, glad to be out there, to be honest. Well, that was Lake Windermere. Next stop, Rhinos Pass. Every corner you turn, it's beautiful. Turning right, nice. It's more like it. This is the start of it, Ryan Nose Pass. Ryan Nose Pass, which leads to Hard Knock Pass. I think it's one of the steepest hills in the, in the country, 30% gradient, I think. Let's have a look. This is why I rode all the way from Nottingham today, just for this. I'm going to have a car in front of me, I can feel it. I've seen it. Look at that. Come on buddy, 
absolutely spoiling my ride. I wouldn't like to take a car up here. Look at that. Beautiful. So this is Rhino's right Pass, what's bloody Hard Knock Pass going to be like? So I've got 11 miles of this left. Must be a nice place to stop somewhere, surely. Narrow route, severe bends, gradient, maximum 30%, one in three. Wow. Shouldn't see too many cars down here, really. So stunning. I've got to stop stopping. It'll be dark before I get home, and I ain't got a clear visor. So let's push on. I think this is about 15 miles long. I've got about 10 left to do, and I just keep stopping. All right, let's go. I don't believe this is in England. Twenty five per cent. any day.
I don't believe that. I've just done my, not, my nose pass. I didn't have the camera recording. Unbelievable. I missed so much good stuff there. Oh, I can't believe that. That was the most awesome pass I've ever done. And I've got no video of it. What a tosser. What a tosser. That was 11 miles of mountain. I can't believe that. Oh well. It's memories I shall take to my grave. Gutted. What a dick. Come on on the bike. Five percent gradient downhill. Gravelly on the corner there. Red phone box. This is what it's about. Just can't see quite over them edges. Freedom. Lush pine needles. I've done some cracking roads today, so I'm heading back south now, back home. I've got 180 miles to do yet. I should get home for about half seven, eight o'clock. I'm going to have to stop for fuel and a can of Monster. Yeah, it's been a great day though. First ride, first long big ride I've ever had on my own. And I've really enjoyed it. Yeah, Rhino's Pass, Hard Knot Pass. I couldn't think of a better bike to do it on than this. It's absolutely brilliant. Bike's been faultless all day. The only thing I'd change is the seat. I've got a square ass. So that's it, guys. I've got about another three and a half hours riding back home, and then it's a Chinese and a bottle of wine for me, and then bed. Back to work tomorrow, unfortunately. 
All right, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe. Leave us a comment, we we'll always get back to you. And remember, keep it real. I've got the numbest arse that anybody could ever have. Anybody. Oh, my shoulders. That's it, guys. It's quarter to eight at night. I left this morning just before nine. I've been out 11 hours. Uh, but I'm back in nuts now. So that was a 400 mile round trip. I think it's 401 miles done today on the little CRF. Sorry about the wind noise, but I've got my dark visor on. So I'm having to ride with it up. So I hope you can hear me. What a day. Tell you what, my bloody horse is killing.